part one. The day I was diagnosed with type one diabetes was Halloween. And the irony is not lost on me that I got diabetes the same day I got a giant bag of fun size Snicker bars. <laughs> but in one moment, I went from the kind of healthy where you make a decision about your life and your body as an afterthought to filtering every decision through the management of a chronic disease. I felt devastated. What I found out much, much later was that when he heard about my diagnosis, my dad went outside and smashed all the pumpkins. <laughs> not all the pumpkins. I don't think he smashed the neighbor kid's pumpkins because <laughs> he's not a monster. But he smashed <laughs> our family's pumpkins. And this was very uncharacteristic because my dad was raised by Swiss immigrants and they're not given to emotional outbursts. I mean, the only feeling the Swiss recognize is a, a feeling of superiority. So <laughs> this was an unusual break in decorum for my dad, but I thought I understood it. I thought this was kind of his own expression of empathy. It, secret, destructive expression of empathy, but still empathy for me. <laughs> Part two. My son is a brilliant musician. He's creative. He plays the tenor saxophone. And he's creative, and he's disciplined. And for the last few years in high school, he tries to get in three hours of practice on weekdays and more on the weekends. He takes every opportunity to listen and to learn, and he has given up almost everything else for it. He likes the kind of jazz that makes people hate jazz. <laughs> that's, that's how good he is. And, and <laughs> He's a junior, so we made a plan to go to New York City this month and look at colleges and meet the saxophone faculty. Yes, there are saxophone faculty in New York City. But two weeks ago, we took him to the Mayo Clinic because he was having some pain and some puffiness in his throat and neck when he played. And we'd gone to other doctors and he'd had some tests, but. Like most Minnesotans, we believe the doctors at the Mayo Clinic fall somewhere between Jesus and Dumbledore in their healing power. <laughs> and when we made the appointment, we felt confident that's where we would find our answers. But our Dumble Jesus <laughs> said, you have some structural weaknesses in your airway. It won't get better. If you keep playing, it will probably get worse. You are just not built to play the saxophone. That is the moment when I understood about the pumpkins. You do not smash pumpkins because someone you care about is grieving. You smash pumpkins because someone you are responsible for is grieving. You don't smash pumpkins because you feel empathy. You smash pumpkins because you feel impotent, because you are powerless in the one moment they need you to have power. When they're little, you can solve most things with time and distraction and cupcakes. You, you need to get a shot, we'll get a treat after. You got left out of a play date? You and I will build a castle of Legos big enough to stand in. You're sick and exhausted. Let me hold you in my arms. We'll watch cartoons and it will be better in the morning. I promise you that. Your body has failed you and everything you thought you could see about your future, you cannot see anymore. I got nothing. I would give you mine. I understand now about the pumpkins. I think I have some neighbors here who might be worried that they should put their Halloween decorations <laughs> in overnight. And yeah, that is actually probably a good idea. <laughs> Epilogue. My son is a brilliant musician. He is determined and he is resilient. 48 hours after returning from Rochester, while I was looking for things to smash, he was taking his first lesson on upright bass. 
it's not the saxophone I feel so attached to, Mom. It's music. He is transposing licks for, from saxophone to bass, and he's got his first gig on November 2nd. And this weekend, he and I went to New York City anyway, and we went to the colleges, and we talked to the faculty to ask what someone would need to learn and know to audition on a new instrument in just one year's time. It's a lot. But my son is a brilliant musician. I still feel like smashing pumpkins. Neighbors, I am probably gonna smash your pumpkins. <laughs> but I am also gonna listen to my kid. I'm gonna listen to the music. Thank you.